This time on Street Rag Garage, we are at the Indianapolis Police Impound Lot to see what kind of deals we can get. Can we get a car for, say, under $500? Can we get something that's running and driving? Well, let's find out. So here at the Police Impound Lot, you will find all kinds of vehicles. Unfortunately, most of them have been crashed, like this one and that one over there, and almost all of these were in some sort of police, uh, not police, but uh, accident, and the police impounded these vehicles. But some of these vehicles, like maybe this truck was impounded for, you know, the driver may have a suspended license, had a warrant, did something illegal, drugs, something like that. And uh, it will be a good, perfectly running vehicle that they just merely couldn't get out of jail or pay the fine to have this uh, released because the fines get rather steep rather quickly. It starts off with like 300 bucks and then goes out like $20 a day. It's ridiculous how much uh, they get paid for impounding these vehicles. But this one, like this one's not bad. Some of this uh, writing, it'll say abandoned on it. And those are kind of the ones you want to stay away from. But this appears to be something that was impounded for whatever reason. But it is absolutely disgusting on the inside. But if we take a look underneath the hood, we can find a perfectly good 5.3 liter that appears to be intact. Everything's there. And I do know that this one does run because you can go check out these cars online and the ones that run, they show a short little video of it. Say they start, they put it in gear and they tell you if it'll go in gear or not. So we know we got a perfectly good running LS engine here and the transmission lease goes in and out of gear now if we look at this chevy truck we will see they wrote some stuff on here like it has no cat no catalytic converter so somebody that's looking to junk your car will look at this and it's like well i don't know i don't want to give too much money for it catalytic converters are worth a fortune uh this i believe means it's a, an abandoned vehicle so somebody left that there plus if you look on the tire here you can see it was marked they marked the tires usually straight up and down and when they come back and see that this vehicle hasn't moved see, here's another they uh they put a like a 72 tag 72 hour tag on it that's right here city of indianapolis abandoned vehicle so this was sitting on the street and it probably had an expired plate or something on it uh, but the police tagged this vehicle they came back it didn't move within 72 hours so they impounded it so there's something wrong with this vehicle and you might not want to pay as much money for this one because obviously it was left on the street for some reason and if we have a look inside of it we can see <laughs> exactly why this vehicle was left on the street abandoned so uh this is i believe this is a chip key so if uh it's not getting the right ohms it's not going to start so somebody was taking this apart and messing with it so uh, this will probably run and drive and the body is in pretty good shape but i don't think this is one that i would really prefer to mess with even though it's uh pretty solid for a midwest vehicle right here we have another ls powered vehicle what do we have a yukon that has uh where's a sticker it probably was on this air filter box uh what heads do we have on here a 862 heads so um uh 5.3 liter yeah so this one looks like it was not abandoned and if we look on the window over here it says d hold detective hold so this was under investigation so this was probably pulled over guy probably had some guns or drugs or something that he shouldn't have on him probably smoking a little crack or selling it so the detectives held this vehicle probably for a long time at the lot 
when it was released, the guy could not afford to get it back out because it's probably, you know, two thousand dollars or something to get this vehicle back so here it sits at the abandoned vehicle auction so this would be a good one to get you can probably get this one pretty cheap uh and you know it's going to run it's probably going to drive without any too much of an issue so we might have to look at this one now you can bid on these online and the auction opens up uh like every monday online and you can view all these vehicles so if i've already looked at all these cars and i have an idea of what i want to bid on and i actually already put an online bid on this one right here and this is a 2005 it's a suburban or a tahoe i don't know it's one of those things but i'm bidding on this because again it has the uh 5.3 three yeah the 5.3 liter in it and they made a video on this car they started it up and it goes in the gear so we have a good 5 5.3 here and what is this uh this is the suburban this is a big one and it even has you know some surprises in the back they usually leave all the stuff in the car so you know you get whatever's in the vehicle too so if I was to scrap this out, just use a 5.3, I got the aluminum rims, I got whatever surprises are inside of there. Um, seats, stuff that I can sell. You can make all your money back uh, by buying this, but I'm going to bid on this less than $500. So I think I got it. Right now I'm winning the bid at like 350 bucks on this one. Okay, here is another one that I'm going to take a gamble on because this one here is an abandoned vehicle we can tell it's got the tag on it it says abandoned up there and it has the uh has the stripes on it but the reason that i wanted to look at this one is because well, you can't see it it has an electric deal on it but this is the uh this is part of the ignition switch so somebody may have stolen this vehicle and then just left it somewhere uh, this only had like 117,000 miles on it. It used to be a passenger van, but now <laughs> it looks like it's been turned into a cargo van. Uh, but when, when I was looking at this, it seemed clean. So the seats aren't too worn. It's got a little bit here. The pedals aren't too bad. And I think, think this might be a good gamble right here. The body's a little bit dirty, so it has been sitting around for a little while. But it's pretty solid. There's no rust. No rust on the quarter panels, which is really, really good. This one seems like it was taken care of. This is all solid. Can't open the doors. But yeah, it was an abandoned vehicle. Got good tread on the tires. Man, this is really good shape uh i think my bid on this is only like 200 dollars right now plus auction fees so that's going to bring my total to like 350 dollars with auction fees if i can get this and nobody else bids on it so this one i think the suburban and there's one more i can't remember i have to look for it uh this one is gmc yukon it's got a lot of money on it already it runs and it moves so it's already already up to like two thousand dollars so we're not going that route. Now there's also this Cadillac Escalade that I was looking at, but it's got a few bids on it. I think it's up to like six or seven hundred bucks. I think that'll go up some more. It's got the 6.0 in it, and this one does run. They made a video on it. This would be a pretty good one. I wouldn't feel bad about tearing it apart because it's already been wrecked a little bit in the front, and it's not in great shape. So you can get a 6.0 engine that's running and driving for under 600 bucks i think you're doing pretty good it's actually in pretty good shape on the inside i think this might go for a little bit more money once uh the live auction gets here so tomorrow they will be doing the auction the live auction so there will be people here bidding on these vehicles but the online bidders um well you'll still be able to bid on it online so you just set your price and the auction knows what you're bidding up to. So when the live bidders are here, they'll bid. And just as long as 
they don't ex exceed your bid on online then you win the vehicle so a lot of these a lot of these don't even get bid on and it just goes off to the local scrap yard the starting fee is like two hundred dollars so there's a salvage yard that already has you know 100 whatever 200 dollar bid that it just goes to them if nobody bids on a vehicle and a lot of these they're not going to get bid on it's just going to the scrap yard for 200 bucks here's the other one that i have a bid on this is like a 2003 uh, trailblazer now i bid on this one because it lost its wheel here see somebody put these spacers on here these uh actually adapters because they went ahead and threw these big old uh i think these are like yukon rims on there it has a bigger i think it has a bigger bolt pattern maybe or they just wanted to space them out i don't know which but apparently they didn't get the lug nuts tied enough and it walked off and they fell off and this got impounded probably because they didn't have a driver's license or they left it on a street but it's hideous it is absolutely ugly on the inside and uh people don't like that so i mean pretty much people buy buy what they like they buy with their eyes they don't see past the ugly and this one is incredibly incredibly ugly it's all trimmed out in purple it's missing the trim piece up here uh for some reason some reason it says bio that usually means biohazard blood or something on the inside of the car i don't know i didn't see anything but <laughs> just be aware of that when you come out and look at these vehicles something going on there it has three rims on it and you can't see inside but there is another rim on the inside of that that goes on there there now i have like i think a 250 dollars bid in on this one so you know under 400 bucks with fees and all that other good stuff so hopefully we get this one i kind of like this one there's a guy over there looking at the uh escalade <laughs> A lot of people have been looking at that. We probably won't, won't get that one. I think it's going to go high, probably probably 1500 bucks or something silly like that. But still would be a pretty good deal for a 6.0 engine. Now here's a little Ford Ranger. And if we have a look at this, uh, we can see that it looks like they drove it off road. So obviously it was running. Yeah, and you get the ladder with it. And whatever junk that's inside of it. But yeah they dinged it up pretty good looks like they drove it in a ditch rubbed it up against a tree broke out the window but there's no key with this one so this might be a good one for you it's a little beat up on this side it was like they torqued the door open or something like that but yeah yeah oh man i wonder if this one rolled over maybe this not such a great deal it either look at that it's got dirt right there this was a rollover so good engine and transmission most likely and that's all this is going to be worth good part out vehicle now if you're looking for parts this is a really good place to buy if you need an engine or transmission just buy the whole car here is a 2017 uh what's this a malibu or impala one or two but it is totaled obviously but the fun part is you know this ran because it got totaled oh it's a chevy cruise okay well if you need a chevy cruise anything buy this probably i'm gonna guess this is gonna go for about 500 600 bucks but you got everything and then you can strap out the rims it has a catalytic converter it has a good interior all those parts airbags seats well maybe not the seats because the airbag and the seats are blown but there's still a few good parts left on this you can use your engine your transmission whatever you need scrap out the rest of the car and probably make money for changing your engine here's one that i haven't bid on yet but i am thinking about it this is a 2007 uh cherokee not cherokee commander a uh, commander so this obviously was in a crash it looks like he rear-ended somebody definitely rear-ended somebody tail lights and all the back glass out of some sort of suv so he comes in here he wrecks it he probably has no insurance uh it just sits here and they auction it off so it's damaged here in the front 
Oh, looks like it's been damaged in the back too. So maybe he was, he was, okay. He was rear-ended and he got pushed into another vehicle. So not his fault. The car's totaled out because it's not worth a whole bunch of money, but it's still a good running vehicle. It's a four by four and it has some damage. You can make an off-road trail rig off of, out of this or just put it back together and you know, make a profit. Probably about a thousand dollars profit off of this one and this has no bids on it right now so i can put in a bid of maybe 200 bucks and maybe i can win this for 200 bucks auction fees about 350 dollars and have this it still has catalytic converters and everything on it aluminum rims scrap it out if you want to make a quick buck but fix the exhaust and drive it i bet you that this runs and drives and you can just take it on down the road with you. There's like, oh, I think 152 cars in this auction. And this is every week on Thursday in Indianapolis on the south side. So if you're in the Indianapolis area or in the Indiana, anywhere, might be a good idea to come check out this auction and pick you up a little something. It's a Honda. It's been wrecked, but man, the parts for these are kind of pricey. So, you know, it's been wrecked. It has a good engine, good transmission, not a very good uh, axle. Lots of interior parts. And this would be a good one to scrap out because I bet you this is just going to be like $200, $250. Probably most of these right here are going to be two, three hundred bucks, right? All this junk right here. And Man, the catalytic converters on these things are ridiculous. Take all these cars, cut off the catalytic converters, scrap all the wheels, put it on Facebook Marketplace, sell the doors and interiors. I mean, you can make your money back and then scrap out the body, just take it to the salvage yard and probably still get $300 out of what's left over. And the rest of it's just pure profit. I mean, look at this Mercedes right here. It's got nice rims on it uh this one doesn't have a key so this was also abandoned it looks good if you have one of these i need some parts i don't think i would gamble on this because man mercedes are not cheap to uh fix yeah see it's abandoned it's got the mark on the wheel but man there's a lot of good parts on this one if i had the extra time to mess with it i would definitely part this one out another mercedes mercedes right there this one look this one has keys it runs went in a gear and it's a six speed is that a manual is that what that yeah, it sure is look at that wow a six speed mercedes good golly i wonder how much this is going to go for <laughs> might have to update you on that one might have to put a couple dollars on that one that one's that one's pretty cool i don't know what the mileage is on it uh checked out the license plate it's uh well the license plate expired five of 23 but it may have been there about that long too might have got pulled over because it had expired plates on it and came in here but uh it's not abandoned that's a good thing it has keys i bet you this runs and i bet you this drives and it's not going to be for a whole lot of money this very well may be a good gamble i don't think you can go wrong under a thousand dollars on this car because you parted out for that oh there's just so much goodness here this uh what does this what did this have in it i think this had a six cylinder in it that's why i wasn't interested in it yeah little six popper yeah nah no big deal but this does run they made a video i saw it this runs and it goes into gear 2003 183,000 miles on it so uh looks like it was just wrecked on the sides it's a mess though if it had a ls engine in it i would definitely have a bid in on that one i'm still contemplating rather rather to bid on this i kind of like it i don't know maybe one bid 200 bucks if there's no bids on it i don't know <laughs> the rims on that sucker that's uh i don't know five six seven hundred dollars worth of rims just for that you can sell the rims and throw some stock rims back on this and then sell the rest of the truck for the profit okay i 
am cold. So I'm gonna get out of here, but also remember, when you're at the auction, cold day is a good day because it is definitely limiting the amount of people that are out here walking around looking at these vehicles. It is also not quite tax time yet. So that means people are still waiting for their tax checks to come in. So there's not as many people buying. It's cold, people don't have money right now. And you know, this is a good time to come out here and buy a car. This is, this is January. February's coming up real soon. And people are gonna have money. So what you do, you come out here before tax season, when it's cold, unless you live in the South, which is, you know, it's warm all the time. But for us normal people, come out here in the cold before tax time, buy as many of these as you can. Next month, it's gonna be crazy. Everybody's gonna have their tax check. When they get their tax check, they just spend it. It doesn't matter how much the car costs. If they want it, they're gonna buy it. So take your money now, buy these cars, hold on to them for another few weeks. You have to do the paperwork, that's another thing. These don't have titles, but they have, they give you like a slip of paper, you go to the BMV, you turn it in, you get the title. So that's a downfall. You're gonna have to put these in your name. And uh, unless you get a speed title, it's gonna take like two weeks for you to get the title back so you can sell these things. So not so bad, you can clean them up, get them ready and come February the first, what, the first, second, third week of February, people start getting their W-2s back, go straight to uh, wherever you, you do W-2 stuff at, and uh, have a handful of money, and they're gonna spend it. Get all your cars together now. Okay, let's get back in the warm because it is freezing out here, and uh, maybe we can look at the computer and see where the bids are right now. Well, it's the next day and uh, the auction kind of snuck up on me and I'm, it began a few cars before I got jumped in here. So now we're actually live bidding here on the auction. And this is the, this is the website. This is what it looks like. Um, like this Jeep Renegade here. It is going right now for 275 and people are bidding on it online. There's no sound, or at least I don't think there's any sound uh sometimes my speakers go out on me and i have to reset them but it'd be nice to have a, a little some auctions have a little music and and throw numbers but we're apparently we're at a silent auction today so this guy this is real this has been rolled over it's going for 350 yep it just sold for 350 bucks so plus auction fees so it probably went for four 50 or something like that, which if it has catalytic converters and if the rest of the, oops, phone, if the rest of the, the aluminum rims are on there and it has a good engine, you can make uh, you can make some good money off of that. So not a bad deal on that. Uh, there's a Toyota Corolla that's getting ready to go up. It just sold right there for three $300. Oops, it's got 10 more seconds, so my hit a last second bid. Was that? Yeah, that's the same one, I think. Oh, $300, three, two, one. Yep, 300 bucks. Toyota Corolla probably has, you know, catalytic converters and all that other stuff. I mean, there's $300. The converters, the rims, that's probably 300 bucks right there. Uh, the rest of it's just pure profit. So, you can make some money at these sales, but you really have to go through the inventory first, make sure there's converters on it and aluminum rims and just pick wisely and don't buy too much and get overwhelmed. So I'm just waiting for my stuff to go through. I was outbid. I had like four bids in on some, uh, those LS powered trucks that we saw. I got outbid on everything except for one, that uh, dark color, colored one that had the busted out back glass that's suburban. So I think I got like 500 bucks on it right now. So we're gonna see if that goes through and see if we, uh, see if we win that one. So let's, uh, let's go to that real quick. You gotta be careful with these auctions. You can really get into it and 
overbid real quick. I mean, auctions are a good time. Oh, that truck sold for pretty good money, 575. This Suburban, this is the one that we looked at with a bad back glass. See, I'm winning, I'm winning right now, 500 bucks. I bet I won't win long. Let's see. Come on, 21 seconds. Don't bid, don't bid, don't bid, don't bid. Don't bid. This is an LS truck, uh, 263,000 miles. It's kind of high. This one does not have the catalytic converters on it, so hopefully nobody will want it because there's no cats on it. I just want the engine so we can put it like in the Chevelle or something. I'm winning. I'm still winning. What was that? How come it said? Yeah, I'm still winning. Uh, I put in a maximum $500 bill. I think somebody hit it once. Come on. Come on. Did we get it? Did we get it? You won. We won. We won. We won. Finally got something. Yes. That Suburban is ours. Nice. So we just won the Suburban. So I think that goes on my on my credit card. I don't know. I entered the credit card because they charge you like $100 just in case you don't come and pick it up. So you have to enter a credit card number. And I don't, I'll have to look. I'll let you guys know if that goes against your credit card or if you have to go in there and pay for it manually when you pick up the vehicle. So we got that one. Um, I'm going to look through here real quick, see if there's anything else that we can slap a bit on I that should be about it but um, yeah I'll be right back what about that Ford van that Ford did that Ford van go through I don't think the Ford van went through but I was outbid on that I only put a couple hundred bucks on it it's coming up here we'll look at that that'll be our last one we'll look at it maybe hit it with one bid maybe not okay let's look at it here it comes Okay, our van's getting ready to come up. So that's the abandoned van. Didn't have any keys, but the uh, the ignition switch was just sort of dangling. It's at 450. Should we? Oh, somebody already hit it. Uh, I don't think we're six. Nope, somebody hit it again and again. Shoot. No, nope, we're we're not going for that one. Man, that's going for a lot more money than I thought it would considering that they don't know if it runs or not and it was an abandoned vehicle but it has man it has such good tires and body and everything on it for somebody that has one and needs parts it'd be great for somebody that's a good mechanic it'd be good it's man that sucker is going it's going through the roof oh my gosh unbelievable no why what are people what are you people doing that's crazy thousand dollars for that you can go to the government auction and get one just like it for less money. Wow, eleven $1 hundred dollars with fees. That's that's nuts. It's it's, it's still going nine twenty five. What is wrong with these people? Who wants this old van for that kind of money? Granted, it's in good shape. Thousand dollars. They must know something that I don't. And it's a Ford. Wow, that's fourteen hundred with fees. Wow, eleven $1 hundred dollars. Holy cow, it's still going. They will not let up on this. I did see quite a few people looking at this when I went to uh, to view them. So apparently we need to buy some of these at the government auction and just sell them at a regular public auction. We probably can make some money that way. 1200, 13, 16, 16, 1610 with fees already. Oh, there it goes. Yep. 16, like 16.25. Oh, this Yukon has come up. You'll you'll like this one too. It's at 2,800. This is an 07 Yukon that runs, but it was also, I think this was also, an, was this also an abandoned vehicle? But it's at 28.5. That's crazy. Went into gear 2007. Don't know how to many, don't know how many miles on it because that doesn't work, but it was abandoned see it has the marks on it from where they let it sit so it runs it goes into gear but somebody let it sit for some reason and they're going to give 28 2800 bucks see with no no miles you don't know how many miles are on that that's crazy see 2850 3500 dollars why are the fees so high on that one 
It just sold for $3,500 for an 07. That's nuts. Okay, so let's go grab the trailer, go to the lot, get our paperwork, and uh, see what we bought. So we are at the tow lot right now, and I just went and got all the paperwork for paying for the vehicles. So we bought two cars. One was, actually, I didn't tell you I bought uh, another car right there at the end. I just happened to see a, um, a Ford Fusion that had been hit a little bit in the front, and it wouldn't start, so they said wouldn't start. Ford has a, uh, what do they call it, that switch where you get an accident, it pops up, so I'm hoping that's the only problem with that Ford. Uh, it has a little bit of a dent in it. I'll show it to you here in a minute, but we paid for the Suburban that we bought and we paid for the Ford and it cost us, we bought two cars for $1,035. So two cars, the Suburban, uh, I can't remember the price and they're split up here. Suburban was like six and five or something like that. We got the keys and we're gonna go through the guard shack here and pick up these two cars and I'll show you I'll show you the Ford and we got a guy here in the way with this stupid little tow dolly trying to back up don't get in a situation where you have to back up very far with a tow dolly because uh, unless you're really really good which this guy is not really really good it can get embarrassing really quick still trying okay he is finally mostly out of the way so we got enough room to get around this guys let's go up here into this guard shack hopefully this guy comes out and we don't have to get out let's see what we got here there's somebody in there oh do I come over there oh just oh you just need to see the papers or I, I'm picking up two. I'm picking up one right now, a Suburban. Yeah, that's 44. Uh, yeah, 44. Is this Suburban? Yeah, yeah. Okay. All right, thanks. Yeah, you know the other one's car free, right? Oh, it is? Oh, because it says 252? Yeah, that's right. <laughs> okay, is there somebody else over there? Yeah. All right, they get picked up at the same time, time frames? Five. No, just four five. Okay, cool. Thanks. Okay, thanks. Okay, the guy just told me that the, the Ford Fusion is across the street in a like overflow lot. I guess that's why we didn't see it when we, uh, we came up here and was looking at all the cars. So let's go get the Suburban loaded up. Okay, here is our Suburban number 44. It says it runs and it says it goes into gear. So let's have a look inside and see what we got. All right, here we go. First try, will it start without any help? Absolutely not. There is zero power whatsoever, which is not unexpected. Uh, what is unexpected is the, the hood cable isn't attached here, but the hood's already open. So let's go grab the jump pack and get this thing started. Hopefully. All right, let's get our prize hooked up here. Yeah, it only has 1.7 volts in the old battery. It's been in here for a while. Now let's see if it'll start up. All right, here we go again. Will it start? Woo! It's loud! No catalytic converters on this one. Probably the reason we got it a few hundred dollars cheaper. No one wants them without the converters. Let's see if this monster will pull out of here and load up on this trailer. And I don't think we have any steering. <laughs> it doesn't steer. Nope, doesn't steer at all. Well, that's a problem. That's unfortunate. Okay, I use the jack, turn the wheels a little bit. I don't know why I'm turning this steering wheel. <laughs> it doesn't do anything. Yeah, I'm gonna, I'm gonna go ahead and get it loaded up on the trailer and then we'll come back. Okay, it is all strapped down and ready to go. 
we got rims so we got aluminum rims i think the gearbox is out or something on it i'm not sure what's going on there uh it was hit here so maybe that broke the worm gear inside the gearbox i don't know what happened but we have some aluminum rims it's rusty i think this is probably just going to be a parts vehicle but i'm pretty sure at that price we can we can make all our money back and have a free ls engine it is the next day and i just arrived at street rat garage worldwide headquarters to drop off the old suburban here so we're going to go through this real quick and see if they left us any goodies on the inside we're going to unload this and store it with the the rest of the goodies <laughs> and eventually come back and hopefully pull this engine and transmission get this thing scrapped out the hood it's got a little rust on the hood it's got a little dent i don't know it somebody might buy that for like 20 bucks or i might be able to use it somewhere today i uh, borrowed a little bit fancier trailer this is a tilt deck so you just come over here and hit this button and she goes up. Hopefully I put it in gear because I took the straps off. Uh, is that hitting the ground? Not yet. There we go. All right. So much easier with the tilt deck. All right, let's jump up in here and back this sucker off. And don't forget we don't have any steering. Okay, stay straight, Will, stay straight. Come on almost there oh uh, they're kind of straight close enough oh it's turning eh, i'm gonna call that good enough all right i was able to jack it up turn the wheels and move it back a little bit further so let's see what we got we got a gas can so apparently the uh gas gauge doesn't work we got a little water is this water or actual coins Whoa, it's actual coin. Save on that. Okay, there's five dollars right there. Oh, the chin spoiler, broken glass, floor mats. Oh, this big rim. Look at this thing. There's only one. I don't know how I can sell just one. So, uh, scrap yard. <sighs> scrap yard. Uh oh, what's that? Let's move this wood out of the way. Ooh, I could use these four bys. Um, old Alpine amplifier. <sighs> I don't know if this is still any good. I mean, it was plugged in. I just pulled the wires out, but it didn't have any of the. This is how RC, yeah, has RCA jacks and everything. This is an old one. Oh, what else do we have? Oh, uh, this is a jack handle, aka cheater bar. Small cheater bar. Cheap collapsible four way lug wrench. What else do we have in here that's any good? Uh, bodyguard safety gear. I don't know what that is gloves or masks this ma oh it's masks now straight in the trash can ooh pry bar another jack handle aka pry bar I wonder what the deal was how come there's so many jacks in here nasty child safety seats Check this out. <laughs> Somebody was balling. Hustle. Uh, weed. Lit. Is that still a thing? People still say lit? I don't think people say that anymore. What else do we got? Legend. King. Another king. Bulls. I think somebody's overcompensating there a little bit for something. What else do we got? The Golden State and a legend again. 
somebody thinks very, very highly of themselves. Wow. Looks like uh, I'm going to make a donation to Goodwill. I'm not wearing that. I don't wear hats to begin with. What do we have here? A couple pictures. Goodwill. We will go donate this stuff. Ah. What is what is this? Is this a cell phone? Hello? Or is it their giant cell phone or a a small iPad? Is this a Kindle? It has an Amazon thing on the back. What is that that Amazon makes? Kind of like that. Well, we'll hang on to that. We'll charge it and see if it if it does anything. It's got the charger and everything. Huh. Okay, I don't know if we scored, if this is worth anything or not, but we got it. Okay, I just pulled these bags out of the middle, and it looks like clothes, 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 lots of clothes. DeWalt t-shirt. That's kind of cool, but I'm not wearing it. Uh, more clothes, more clothes. So another bag of Goodwill. These bags are kind of cool. It says Toyota Genuine Parts on it, and it has a zipper. It's like, uh, yeah, it has a tag on it. So they ship uh, Toyota parts in these, I guess, and they're probably water resistant. That's cool. Uh, let's see what we have in here. We have a, a bag of peanuts. Ooh, channel locks. Score, we're keeping that. A knife, box knife. What else do we have? Mm. A little trash, an extension cord, huh. do I need an extension cord? I don't think so, but I'm going to keep it. I'm going to turn it into a hoarder apparently, like these people were. Lots of napkins. We already have plenty of napkins. Mm. A hat we'll put over there in the bag, in the clothes bag. Oh, more napkins. This is just trash. This is just junk here. Put all this back. Okay, what's next? Okay, this bag, we got some Nikes. Yeah. I don't much care about shoes, and these are like a 10, 11. Definitely too small for me. I wear a 13. Thank you very much. More clothes. Sweatpants. Huh? A uh, umbrella. Actually, I'm gonna keep that in my truck because I often need it and I never have one. Uh, children's shoes, a few kitty shoes, more uh, more Goodwill, some hangers. Nope, another bag for Goodwill. At least we're helping somebody. Okay, I put the seats up, had to get some of that junk out of the way. It's got the third row seat that's in pretty good shape. I put this truck up on uh, Facebook marketplace for parts and somebody asked me about the third row so I had to come look at it The middle row is really good. It looks like they didn't use it even though there's a baby seat in there Door panels aren't very good. It's missing some of the switches here uh, Oh, we got more stuff oh, What's this? That's a bracelet uh, It says Scorpio, huh? That's uh, that's my sign Must be a sign more napkins and tax. What's in the glove box? Nothing. Cards. We got a whole bunch of playing cards for some reason. So somebody was a gambler. Uh, nothing good there. Oh, we have a. Play me in the sun. Play me. We got enough. Oh, well, that works. <laughs> and we got WD-40. So we got you know an old school CD player, which. A lot of people don't know what a CD is anymore. A gross teddy bear. What do we have in the center console? The broken center console that's being held down by a shoestring. Oh, prescription meds. That's fun. Speed stick. So they were smelly. Oh, a stopwatch. And it's still, it's counting. 11, looks like 11 hours. It's counting up or down. Oh, it's counting. It's counting up. So we're okay there. A pin. Uh, candy, yuck. Okay. The back of the center console is good. Get out of here, Teddy. All right. There's 
Oh, what we have on the gauge. This has been running for a while. Temperature's good. It's showing 80 pounds of oil pressure. Yeah, that doesn't work. It doesn't move at all. And it's charging. And ABS lights are on. And uh, that's weird that the check engine light's not on when it doesn't have any catalytic converters. Hmm. Oh, well. Let's shut it down. It's been running for a while. Let's see if it'll start. Yeah, starts right back up. Nice. So we even have a, a good battery. Oh, that's good. Well, oh, the radio. Oh my God. Okay, okay, okay. Woo. That was loud. All right. Lights work. This wouldn't be so bad to fix up, but man, it's rusty and we need this engine for something. I'm thinking about putting it in that C10 and maybe doing a budget build. It's like, how cheap can you do an LS swap? So we got what, 500 bucks did I say on this truck? And if we scrap it out, we probably won't have anything on that. That sounds like a good idea, we should do that. Let's take this engine out. We already have a transmission. This is a four x four, we can't use this transmission and see how cheaply we can drop it in that truck, maybe. Don't hold me to it, but it sounds like a good idea. Well, let's go back and get our car and then bring it up here and get this wrapped up. We're pulling into the Goodwill store, so let's go over here and uh, dump off all these clothes and the, the big baller hats <laughs> and get, uh, get that out of the way. Well, that's done. Just dropped them off. So that's going to go to help somebody. Somebody will buy those clothes. Uh, money goes to help people in need. So we did our part for the day. Okay, I just pulled up and, uh, well, it's it's raining. So that's, that's a plus. And there's the car right there. So I hope we can get this to start. Let's go see what we got over here. See if she'll start up. Remember that umbrella I found? yeah who's stupid now all right we're inside the car and uh i don't know it's okay look we got some change uh it's not all nasty on the inside so this was in a wreck it looked like they pretty much cleaned out the car and then just left it in the impound lot and the insurance company probably probably did not come and get it because they don't want it it's worth their time just to let it go not their time that's worth their money it's probably cost them more to get it out of impound transport it to a auction and sell it at auction they probably would lose money because if they well i gave 500 bucks for it the tow fee would have been close to probably 300 bucks if they come and got it and then transport for another hundred dollars and then an auction fee to run it through so that's 500 bucks already Okay, well let's uh, let's see if this thing will start up real quick. I got the key, and uh, anything? Cranks, it cranks. Yep, just like they said, crank no start. Okay. Well, let's fool around with it a little a little bit, but uh, we may have to just winch this up. I don't want to mess around too much in the rain. Okay, um, it just started up. I cranked on it and I held my foot to the floor and she fired up. A lot of times when the car, these Fords sit around, it drops a lot of fuel into the uh, cylinders and you have to do it like a uh, old time carburetor and hold it down and keep cranking it until it fires up. I've run across this a lot on the roadside assistance uh, deal. so. I kind of knew what to do so it's a runner and we got this for like 500 bucks so I think we scored let's get it loaded up okay there she is loaded up at least it's almost stopped raining now <laughs> right after I got it all hooked up so back up to the street rack garage and have a look at it all right we made it back to street rack garage worldwide headquarters again and now it's starting to snow and rain at the same time so this is a wonderful day. Welcome to Indiana. 
Uh, let's get this unloaded real quick and see if it see if it starts up. It should start up now that we cleared everything out. Let's give it a try. All right, the tubes are already done. Let's get this guy off. I hope again. I hope I put that in here. Apparently, I did. It hasn't fallen off yet. Okay, there we go. Let's get this off of here. All right, does it still start? Starts right up, no problems at all. So, low tire pressure, lights on. Let's see if those lights go off there. I had check engine light, ABS, and low tire pressure, I guess, is what we're dealing with. So, yeah, it goes into gear. We're backing it off the trailer and we'll park it here. And when it's not such a nasty day, we will come back and uh, check the transmission, take it for a ride down the road and all the other good stuff. So yeah, $500 car. Okay, well, let's look at our $500 car. Looks fine on this side. It's where you come over here that you have the problem. Look at that, it's, uh, is that aluminum? Ford makes their stuff out of aluminum now, right? I think so. So, fender, hood, headlight, bumper cover if we want to go that far or we could just sort of rig that up to make it work and keep the price down on the car so we need a headlight like that and that's the way the bumper cover is supposed to look now the hood has been scooted over a little bit so we might be dealing with hood hinges as well see but we we'll push the hood over bent the hood hinges now this this shouldn't be because uh they just came in here and yanked the door open real hard because it pushed the fender back. Oop, I locked the door. Uh, so we are probably, unless we find a, a cheap door, probably just going to beat that back into shape to keep, again, keep the price down. This is going to be a cheap tax car. But besides that, it looks like it is in really good condition. Good rims, good tires minimal rust look there's a plate so i might just rip their plate clean off of it didn't even bother to unscrew it v6 se ford fusion missing the uh cover over that one rest of the rims are fine the tires are fine it runs it drives it's probably going to shift through all the gears since it was obviously running all the way up until the crash so i'm pretty sure we're good here we got a little damage on I think this is a washer fluid reservoir right here. Everything else seems to be pretty good shape. Um, this is a good deal. I didn't even see this one in the preview. It was in the other lot. Next, next time we'll go to the other lot and have a look around. So we got this. We got this for parts. So we can, we can make some money here. I think we'll make... I don't know. Maybe we can make about a thousand dollars off of this. Hopefully, after we're done. I mean, even if we make five hundred dollars, it, it's still it's all good. Five hundred to a thousand dollars less delegate making on this car. Good running car. Well, I think that is going to wrap it up for the auction video. If you like these type of videos, give me a comment down below. You like doing some of this regular auction car stuff every now and then, or you just want to stick to the old classic cars? I mean, we're still going to do that. We're going to do a whole bunch of that, but just every now and then should we do a little bit more of this well that is going to wrap it up for this episode of street rat garage don't forget to like share and subscribe until next time